Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are April 8th, 2024. So this is the morning of the day of the eclipse. And as you can see, I've been camping together with my cousin. We've been road tripping across and uh, flying around on paragliders, uh, doing all sorts of fun stuff. And right now we are basically in the middle of the Ozark Forest, our state national forest uh, in Arkansas. Um, and following the weather for the eclipse. So we've seen that in uh, Texas, um, in Dallas, even like in Oklahoma, where uh, the original plan was to watch the eclipse, the weather forecast did not look promising. And so we made our way uh, northeast towards uh, Arkansas, where there's basically like a hole in the weather, like there's clouds all over, but there's a hole only in this region from roughly here to like Carbondale, Illinois. And so we are taking advantage of that. So that's what I had in my previous video, like the importance of mobility. And yeah, it worked out well to be mobile and not to be like in Mexico, uh, where we would need to have driven such a long time. And uh, yeah, it is actually 37 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. I have no idea what this is in Celsius. So I, I assume like five degrees Celsius maybe. So getting a bit chilly, definitely chillier than I expected. So I was a bit cold in my tent, but we have the most beautiful camping spot. spot. George, say hello. This is my cousin, George. He's been like the driver and the organizer extraordinaire for the whole trip. And uh, I got to say the dark skies from above last night were beautiful. I didn't really get to like image them a lot uh, and there was still some light pollution, but yeah, coming from Tokyo, it makes quite a bit of a difference. Now there is one thing that I didn't do as per my video, which the, is the telescope that I was going to use for the eclipse was the Seastar S50. But once I had packed my tent, my sleeping bag, my mat, my paragliding equipment and all of that, I simply did not have the space for the Seastar anymore. And so instead, I went with the Dwarf 2, which is a decent uh, telescope, although like the optics are not, in my opinion, as good as the Sea Star. And the field of view, though, is much larger, which means that during totality, it might actually be good for the uh, Corona. Right now, it's actually uh, no battery left on this, uh, on this little thing, so I need to charge it in the car while we drive. Uh, the plan for today is we might, it's only like 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. right now, uh, we might pack up, and there's a paragliding site not far away. So we will try to hike up to it, fly off of it if the wind is good. Otherwise, we'll just uh, go forward to the uh, a place where we can watch the eclipse. We are in the totality area right now. Um, right here would be uh, roughly three minutes long, uh, the totality, so we're already good. But we are in a hole with no network coverage. So there's no way to check whether the weather is going to be good. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed. We'll go in an area where there's a little bit of network to double check the weather forecast and adjust as ne if needed. So I'll see you then. I don't know when I'll see you. Maybe I'll start recording again right before the totality. We'll see. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. And I hope even though like this video will come much later than the eclipse, I really hope that everyone who is looking forward to the eclipse gets great weather even like in the southern states, like hopefully just like high level clouds that just veil the sun and do, doesn't, do not like hide it. That would be excellent, fingers crossed for everyone. Let's have an awesome eclipse today. And here I am at the spot where I will be watching the eclipse. So it's very interesting. We were looking desperately at the weather forecast. So we went to a place where we had some signal, checked the weather forecast. At first, it looked like we would need to go northeast towards Missouri. Uh, but then we looked more and there's a spot to the south, very close to our campsite, actually, that is somehow good weather. And to the south of it, it's clouds. To the north of it, it's, cl it's clouds. And if you go towards Missouri, then you get clear skies again. So we're like in a pocket of uh, clear skies. It's currently 11 past noon. So we are very close to the eclipse time, which I think for this location is around like 1.50 p.m. I didn't even check and we no longer have network to check. So we'll just have to uh, um, photograph it and watch it and see what's happening. So I have my dwarf too here. Uh, it has both, of, of, of course, the solar filters 
on both of the lenses and it works really well actually I managed like um, I could point it to the Sun manually by just moving the the dwarf to around and once it was centered I validated and now it's tracking and it's been keeping the Sun at the center perfectly well guys I'm so excited the eclipse has started <laughs> we can see the bottom right of the Sun has a little tiny corner of it like in the moon shape it started I started taking a couple of pictures with this I don't think I'll take videos maybe I should I am so excited I'm so pumped I cannot believe that we're gonna have totality in like roughly yeah two no one hour one hour until totality <laughs> Uh, one hour and like 14 15 minutes i checked on sky safari which i have installed on my phone so now i know exactly when the times will be ah this is gonna be fun okay we are waiting for the totality but there's uh, quite a bit of a chunk of the moon already or a chunk of the sun eaten up by the moon uh, there's some nice birds thermaling above i wish we could be flying but that's something else we have because we're bored two plates uh, one has a tiny little pinhole i I don't know if you can see it and that's what we can do when we're bored waiting for an eclipse we can align the pinhole to the Sun roughly hopefully and put the other plate in the shadow and you'll you won't be able to see in the video so I will take a picture right now there we go hopefully it's really difficult to see if I got it yeah but we can see a tiny Sun right there eaten up by the moon so cool there you go you don't need like super complex pinhole cameras or anything like that you can do it with just two plates this and is actually super cool when the moon comes the other direction it'll be over here yeah it will be the other yeah. side yeah so we can keep okay. track even without glasses we follow the eclipse okay anyway let's wait for totality see you then let's do it so guys we're still around 20 minutes 19 minutes to totality and this is something that I think will not translate on camera because camera will do auto exposure and auto contrast and all that stuff so you won't be able to see it but uh, we're now having like a sliver of the Sun it's like maybe a three like three days or four days past new moon type of uh, sliver that's left and it looks it's sunny and everything and the sky is blue etc etc but if you look around things are not darker but they're noticeably less contrasty less vibrant and also the sound of the insects is different I hear like crickets basically that I would normally hear only in the evening uh, right before like right at sunset so it's it's different and we had different like bird cries etc earlier in the eclipse compared to now so this is honestly this is such a unique experience and I am privileged to be sharing it with you on on this channel i know i do deep sky of astrophotography most of the time but this is incredible and by the way if you like what you see you definitely should go down below leave a comment how did the eclipse go for you like the video it really helps like the channel out and uh, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel in which case welcome subscribe thank you george yeah <laughs> and wow. Uh, what else what else oh yes if you want to support the channel even more you can uh, and you want to buy anything on like Amazon or Agena or High Point Scientific if you have plans to buy them buy anything you just go down below click any of my links and then buy what you want at no cost to you you'll be supporting the channel it really helps out so very much appreciated and you are if you're feeling like grandiously generous then you can join my Patreon as a member, link down in the description. Some ranks of my Patreon have access to my videos early and without ads. Or you can join the channel as a member. Every bit helps out. You guys truly make this channel possible and this trip to the eclipse possible as well. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. So thank you so much. And by the way, the wind is actually slowing down. George just noticed it. And no birds thermaling. There's no birds thermaling. We were seeing like birds of prey thermaling until like very recently but now it's noticeably cooler as well I feel cold almost yeah. and yeah we are just uh, 16 minutes from totality and things feel like bleak I'm like I've entered Mordor it was 75 degrees Fahrenheit now it's probably 70 so yeah maybe yeah it's like for sure huge difference 
and we're having beautiful weather. We chose the right spot, that's for sure. There are white clouds in the background. I am so excited. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, it's it feels weird. Okay, I'm gonna stop taking a recording to just experience things, but see you soon during totality, hopefully. Enjoy. Enjoy. sunset all over oh my word 360 degrees sunset the sun is there we can see the stars we can see the stars <laughs> Okay guys, we're done. The sun is officially past the eclipse. No more chunk of the moon over it. I don't know if I got some good pictures or not. I definitely did not get the diamond ring. I enjoyed it with my eyes only. But the 360 degrees dusk and dawn at the same time, with the noises changing, the temperature changing, everything being like a, an evening that suddenly turns to dawn, that suddenly is like bright again, with like gradual darkening and gradual brightening was insane, absolutely insane, incredible. And then during the totality, um, something that doesn't really show on pictures is that I saw like a ring, like the aurora of the, of the sun as a ring around the, the moon shadow. And it's like, it's like you have a ring hanging in the, the sky you can see the stars around that ring, at least the brightest ones. And it's dusk all around and it's dark around you and it's cold. And you also have the solar prominences. And this is the first time that I see solar prominences with the naked eye. This like little like red or orangish, reddish spots sticking out from the shadow of the moon. It's indescribable. And I know a lot of people don't get it. You know, they don't get like, why did you travel all the way to, to the United States for a solar eclipse? I have some colleagues who asked me that. They were like shocked that I would be silly enough, stupid enough to travel so far just to see like an eclipse. What are you talking about kind of thing? But it's, uh, it's, an, it's just an incredible experience. It's, yeah, 
it's irreplaceable. There's nothing quite like it. And yeah, if you haven't experienced it, you don't know. And I really hope that those guys down in, the, in Texas, I hope they got some good visibility of the eclipse. I really hope so. But I don't know yet. I'm out of network. So we'll see later. But this was absolutely incredible. Uh, I will likely at the end of this video post some pictures of the eclipse that I took with the, uh, with the dwarf too. It's tracked like a champ throughout. And it's now like basically 90 degrees off from where it started. Well, not 90 degrees, but it's like it's rotated quite a bit as the Earth rotated. And so, uh, yeah, it was, was amazing. Anyway, let's go to the results together. And yeah, I'm now in my hotel room in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. It's uh, April 11th. I hope to be able to finish my video and upload it by the time I jump on the plane, which will be tomorrow at around noon, back to Tokyo after this incredible experience. And it was worth everything and more. Incredible, incredible experience. And I, I, I saw now that the weather uh, in Dallas, in Texas, etc., et was actually good for the totality. So it was awesome. I'm so happy that everyone or most of everyone got to experience this total eclipse, at least everyone in the in the path of it. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, end the video with a couple of pictures of the totality. They were taken with the dwarf too. I didn't have all of the right settings in place, so they're weirdly compressed and they're not the best ever. Uh, but you know, they're my pictures and therefore they're, to me, they are special. So enjoy those pictures. And of course, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars or the eclipsed sun, or if you're looking at the sun with solar glasses, don't forget. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.